Hello everyone. Today we will discuss a clinical uh, condition, the lactose intolerance. So we will discuss what is the lactose intolerance, what are the basic reasons behind this, uh, the causes of the lactose intolerance, and what can be the treatment of the lactose intolerance. So starting uh, all these things, let us first start from the disclaimer and uh, that the content shown in this video are just for the educational purpose right let us start about the lactose intolerance so first of all what is the lactose intolerance uh, as uh, all food we eat is basically for the cells of our body and uh, to provide the nutrition and all these things so food particles are broken down into smaller and smaller components and finally uh, we need some specific enzyme to absorb these things so the enzyme related to the lactose is the lactase so lactase is essential for the digestion of the lactose and uh, from where we can get the lactase lactase is actually secreted by the cells specific cells of the uh, of our small intestine and these cells are situated in the innermost layer of the small intestine that is the epithelium Right, so the these uh, epithelial cells, epithelium cells, uh, secrete intestinal juice. And if we specifically talk about the lactase, the lact we can found the lactase in the plasma membrane of the microvilli. So these lactase are essential for the diagnosis of uh, for the digestion of the lactose. What happens that in some people, these cells of the small intestine fails to produce enough quantity of the lactose and this situation this particular uh, condition will result in a uh, clinical condition and that is named as the lactose intolerance right so what will happen if a patient get uh, lactose intolerance what will happen to him first of all as the lactose intolerance means there will be undigested lactose in the chyme. Chyme, as you all know, that chyme is uh, the content, food content, which passes from the stomach. So stomach passes these products into the small intestine. And in the small intestine, these lactose will be remained undigested because there is less quantity of lactose or uh, lactase or uh, the lactase will be uh, absent. So it will uh, cause the fluid to be retained in the feces. All right then what happened that the uh, this undigested uh, lactose will uh, get the bacteria there and will get fermented and this production uh, this fermentation will cause in the production of the gases right so what are the main reasons behind the lactase intolerance first of all lactase intolerance or lactase production may be reduced by some uh, temporary effects or by some chronic diseases Temporary, maybe like the stomach flu or the chronic diseases like cystic fibrosis. One more condition is there that uh, if uh, any surgical removal or surgical intervention done at the uh, bowl of the small intestine, it may also cause in the uh, lactase intolerance. And newborn babies, uh, you can uh, find uh, the clinical symptom of the lactase intolerance in some new newborn babies uh, also when uh, they feed and uh, after feeding uh, milk or so they get some cramps in their uh, abdomen or they get the diarrhea like this so this may be permanent or this may be temporary it all depends on the reasons behind this uh, um, uh, lactase uh, less production of the lactase or the absence of the lactase what will be the symptoms so first of all the main symptom uh, all symptom will be uh, either they uh, can be mild or they can be severe it all depends that how much your uh, cells of the small intestine produces the lactase one more thing that symptoms normally starts after 30 minutes to two hour it's why because uh, when the food passes the stomach and there we need the lactase and if the lactase is decreased or so then the symptom will be arise right so symptoms may include uh, number one uh, 
the basic symptom is that there uh, would be bloating or the gas gas patient will complain about the gastritis or the abdominal pain or abdominal uh, cramps or patient may get diarrhea also so these are the basic symptom of the lactose intolerance right so how can we diagnose uh, what would be the diagnostic way first of all you can uh, ask the patient some simple question about the lactase if there is uh, some uh, hint about the lactase uh, intolerance you can confirm by the questioning to the patient number two may be uh, that you can ask the patient to avoid such dairy products for two or three days and can monitor the situation and uh, can monitor the complications also if he get uh, uh, benefited by the avoiding of dairy products there may be a lactase intolerance and the third measure uh, is uh, more important you can go for the hydrogen breath test uh, for the diagnosis of the lactase intolerance so there can be a very little hydrogen can be detected in the breath of the patient uh, why the hydrogen because uh, as we earlier told that there would be some undigested lactose in the colon and this will result in the fermentation and the fermentation will result in the production of the gases so hydrogen is among these gases and uh, hydrogen actually absorbed from the intestine and in, uh, carried throughout the blood stream or, or venous system to the lungs and where it is exhaled so you can detect the hydrogen in the exhale uh, breath of the patient right so what would be the treatment so uh, unfortunately there is no cure for lactose intolerance but symptom can be treated by reducing dairy products right um, secondly you can uh, ask the patient to uh, use the milk with reduced lactose so uh, this all was uh, for the lactase intolerance and last and final thing i would like to all uh, request to you all that uh, please like our channel subscribe our channel you can get a lot from here you can get the notes on samhitas you can uh, get the study material from first year to final or uh, some clinical presentation also will be posted regularly on this channel so thanks all thank you very much